Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Can you tell the difference between Pekingese and Shih Tzu? Well, let's talk about it in this video. There are four key differences between Pekingese and Shih Tzu. First, the body shape. Second, coat. Third, face shape. And the last one is temperament. Let's start first the body shape. Shih Tzu have a long silky coat and they shed very little. They also have straight forelegs compared to the bowed legs of the Pekingese. They don't have any wrinkles on their faces and tend to have much longer facial hair which can cover their faces. While Pekingese have a flatter face than Shih Tzu and tend to have a lot of wrinkles on their faces. They also have a thicker coat and a body that is heavier at the front it is at the back. Pekingese are best known for their flat faces and short snouts. And now let's discuss all their differences in more details. Shih Tzu and Pekingese both have small compact bodies but their shapes differ quite a lot. Shih Tzu have a typically uniform body with a broad and deep chest. They also have straight legs with equally balanced fore and hind legs. While Pekingese have a stocky and compact body, however, the body is heavier at the front than the rear, giving them a uniquely shaped rear that is often described as pear-shaped. Also have unusual legs as their front legs are short and bowed, and their feet tend to turn out slightly. Their hind legs of Pekingese are thinner and closer together, but their feet point forwards. And now, let's talk about their coat. Although both breeds have long flowing hair, but there are still some light differences between the two of them. Shih Tzu have long flowing coat that is silky to the touch. They shed very little which adds to how long the hair can grow. They require regular grooming to prevent their coat from getting matted or tangled. While also Pekingese tend to have much thicker and more dense hair and they shed quite a lot. However, they too still require regular grooming to keep their coat in top condition. Both dogs can be seen in various coat colors and markings, and both have a particularly fluffy tail that is carried over their back. And now, let's proceed to the third difference, which is face. Shih Tzu have a broader face which is slightly more rounded in appearance. Their snouts are more prominent than that of the Pekingese, and they don't have any wrinkles on their faces. Also, Shih Tzu tend to have much longer facial hair which can cover their faces. While on the other side, Pekingese are best known for their flat faces and short snouts. They tend to have a lot of wrinkles on their faces which adds to their flattened and squashed appearance. When it comes to Shih Tzu and Pekingese, it's impossible not to fall in love with them when looking at their cute faces and expressive eyes. However, their faces are one of the most distinguishable differences between them. And finally, we're down to the last key difference which is temperament. In temperament, they still have commonalities in their behaviors. Shih Tzus are social dogs that are active and outgoing. Both Shih Tzu and Pekingese are friendly and affectionate towards people they know. They both tend to get strongly attached to their owners and love nothing more than to faithfully follow their trusted human around. However, despite their size, Pekingese are actually excellent guard dogs and often alert their owners to the slightest suspicious noise. They are also wary and aloof towards strangers. And also, Pekingese have much lower energy requirements and it is important to make sure that they don't overdo things as they are prone to overheating, particularly in hot weather. And they are not as playful as Shih Tzu and are more content to spend their day relaxing in comfort. And that's all for today's video guys. So thank you for watching and I hope you learned something new and enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for upcoming video. Bye!